The THL W5, the latest hot off the press um, smartphone from THL, uh, a Chinese domestic supplier, um, came out literally a few weeks ago. Um, a completely different animal from the old um, Chinese Android handset smartphones. If you take a look at the, in back in the day, we the first one we looked at was the MyPhone, a, a straight up iPhone clone um, of the worst sort of sort, fairly cheap and uh, and not particularly great in in all aspects. Well, things have changed now. Um, this uh, um, W5 is a, a different beast altogether. It's a um, basically a, a, a full-blown Android 4.0 smartphone with a one gigahertz processor. Um, it comes with a 4.7 1280 by 720 high, high definition screen, and everything else you'd expect: GPS, Wi-Fi, HSDPA. Um, but the thing that really is a standout for us on this handset is is the the dual SIM, which we'll come to in, in a moment. Um, the actual packaging itself is very professional. Um, comes with a, a screen protector out of the box and a spare scre screen protector actually uh, uh, in the box as well. Uh, if we look and see what else is in here, as well as the, the screen guard, there's a quite um, comprehensive Chinese language. Um, manual because although this phone is being sold globally um, obviously they're focusing primarily on the domestic Chinese market um, USB cable um, headset and uh, a mains charger which is international rather than anything else and right at the bottom is a small but very usable Android user's manual in English which, which covers all the important parts of, of the, the phone and what and charging etc and what you need so um, uh, a very good packaging um, the f handset itself very nice heft to it it's it's a it's a it's not a cheap plasticky type of feel at all it feels very solid in the hand um, we can see here it has the um, micro USB port you see that in black against black um, power up, uh, volume up and down power switch headphone socket at the top um, and on the back we'll see the 8 megapixel camera and flash and speaker I take it uh, take the back off the 2000 milliamp hour battery is is impressive in terms of the fact that it'll keep you going for a good a good day. The twin twin or dual SIM slots, slot under one uh, slot one on the top, slot two underneath. This is an Italian SIM and, and my and a home SIM I've got in there, and a micro SD card for full micro SD support. Now if I start it up. Um, THL Technology Happy Life. I'm not sure whether that's the motto or <laughs> the the founder of the company decided that he'd have a a trendy kind of uh, dingling, a trendy kind of name. But anyway, um, the first thing to note is that this 4.7 inch screen is is very nice. It's clear, as you can see. It's it, the colours are great, um, and it's responsive. It accesses the the Android. Um, the Google Play App Store perfectly well. Uh, let me just do a comparison for you to show you the handset versus the Note. This is the Samsung Note on on the left. Um, as you can see, the the screen is is not as big, but there again, you'd think for for those with smaller hands who are not or who are not really into this whole phablet thing, then then. Uh, this is a good compromise. This this 4.7 to 5 is a good compromise. Don't forget the Note is a 5.3 screen, so it's really it's really pushing the boundaries of of, of um, no, uh, smartphone screen sizes. The thing that really does um, stand out for us is this the dual SIM. 
Um, dual SIM has been around for a long while, more popular in, in the, um, uh, the Chinese and the Asian markets than it is um, over in the West for some reason. Um, and we suspect it's primarily because when we've tried it before, it, it, it's kind it's been kind of kludgy. You've had to reboot and, and it's quite difficult to get um, the, uh, the, the second SIM working, etc. But the, the, this has all changed with this this new generation of smartphones. So if we look at the 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 top of the screen here, I don't know if you can see, we've got two um, little bars, orange and uh, green, and those are actually the two sims working simultaneously. So there's no question of of rebooting or or uh, having to press a particular app buttons or anything like that. The, if a call comes in on a SIM, it rings. If a call comes in on your second SIM, it rings. Similarly, with making a call, you either press the call button twice or once to get uh, either of the two SIMs. And if you make, do things like um, doing your text messaging, is also a similar, uh, similarly easy process with the two SIMs. If you can just see there the two buttons, the, those are for the two SIMs. So once you've typed your message in, um, just do that. I have swipe installed on here as well. Then you'll see the two the two boxes come alive, and you just choose which box you want to send for whichever sim, uh, whichever sim you want to use to send your uh, your message. It actually couldn't be easier. Um, now on its own, that's that's pretty. We think that's pretty impressive. But in in addition, uh, what we really love is the fact that. Uh, it comes with a full set of SIM management tools built into the operating system. So if we go into system settings here, you see the two SIMs actually displayed with their color coordination. You can change the color of the uh, of the actual um, icons and, and, and if you prefer purple to <laughs> green or whatever, you can set it to the way you want to. Um, nice little touch. Um, you can change set your your phone number display the last four digits of the phone number you can also do clever things like like change the the data um sorry the data connection between the two sims so that um if you're abroad say and you don't want to incur roaming charges you can get yourself a local sim slotted in and just say right now do all my data from the local sim and that'll save you a packet in in roaming charges a lovely feature if you have been caught with high data costs then you'll understand why that's so good um, when roaming that is um, you can allocate uh, different contacts to the sims so that um, you don't have to worry about which sims have which contacts on them that's another another nice feature so that if you're using the two sims for say business and pleasure you can allocate all your your business sim uh, business contacts to one sim and the pleasure and the um, fun ones to the other sim with different ringtones obviously of course and similarly with all you can you can configure all aspects of, of the sim it's really really impressive it means that, that for the first time we've we've come across a, a phone where the, the sim uh, the dual sim function is is we can see ourselves using it permanently it's really and and it really makes it difficult to go back to a single sim in fact especially if you travel a lot um there there are other i mean the rest of the phone also or, or the implementation of the operating system is 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 as solid you'll find the usual android stuff here there's a few different things we we like such as the um a schedule power on and off so you can turn the phone automatically off at night and turn it on again in the morning if you want to save power overnight and you just do that by setting this setting this these um these times here and you can repeat it each day or, or turn it off on a particular day or, or again flexibility it's a nice it's a nice touch um and it makes uh, for an improved battery uh, battery life um the the rest of the phone is is as you'd expect i mean using the um or playing games on it and and all those kind of things are the the screen is as as good and as responsive as you'd hope from uh a phone of this type um has a very loud speaker <laughs> i have to say very very loud um so there's no problem with them does that mean i'm good 
I mean, I mean, never really quite got this game. But anyway, whoops, I think I blew everything up. So as you can see, it plays um, very f responsive, responsive on on same on um, web browsing. Obviously, we're, we're at the moment we're on um, Wi-Fi rather than three G. But under three G, again, you'll get um, as good a response out of it. It's 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 a what we're trying to say is that there's no compromises on the phone, despite the fact, and you have to remember that this is a fraction of the cost of a mainstream um, uh, branded smartphone from people like HTC or Samsung or whatever. You know, as you can see, the browsing is is completely glitch free. I don't know why I'm on a on a strange clothing site, but there you go. Um, nice multi-touch again fully functional great resolution on the screen um it's it's uh it's very cool um i have to say there are a couple of weak points that uh that we were a little surprised at if we look at the camera for instance um low light is not as good you can't see it here but although it's a very responsive camera um and it comes with a full set of of um of tools you'd expect there's the actual shot i just took um oh let me just so it 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 it, it that's a pretty difficult shot against the white background but as you can see it, it took it it was far it was responsive but low light um not as great as 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 a, a, a say a samsung certainly a nokia obviously or a, an htc 8 megapixel camera um, that feels to us like it's more like a firmware issue rather than a, a hardware issue but you never know um, one assumes that that'll improve over time as they update the the um, the system um, also uh, the for some reason and we're not sure with this, with this is because this is an early um, a model of the of the phone since they've literally only been out a few weeks but the the google maps although it's it's very as you again you can see it accesses beautifully and it's very responsive um it does if you're out and about traveling it does occasionally lose um location for some reason we can't really work out why for a few seconds and then latches back in every so often it mostly seems to be when you're in sm slow moving traffic jams or something so we're not sure whether that's aggressive power management um causing problems with syncing with the satellite or if it's just um, a, a glitch in the, in the software. But um, the, apart from that, the, the GPS works fine and maps works fine and, and the Google navigation works um, as well as it should do. Um, but we just think that's, that's something that we may need a little bit of attention as well. Uh, as I say, all the other apps work perfectly. We've found nothing that, that, that um, it can't handle. Um, and there's just uh, it's just the kind of the kind of um impressive hardware you'd expect from a main major name brand so from that point of view it's definitely a value for money um in in in, in all sorts of ways so in conclusion it's a, the, the bearing in mind as i say this is typically half the price of a of a a brand name um handset um and it comes fully loaded with all with you know full access to all the asset, the parts of and um google play and and all the other asset things you'd need it's a great uh, it's a great value handset and and very very impressive how far the chinese have come in in the short period of time i mean the domestic brands have come in the short period of time um we love the dual sim um, and the functionality of the dual sim this is the first dual sim phone we've seen that that you know really stands up to scrutiny and we'd like to keep in our pocket all the time we hope that other manufacturers follow suit and, and include this same kind of um, functionality as well battery life is great um, the screen is fabulous as i say the only two weak points were they, they could upgrade the the camera um, and the, and fix whatever those glitches of the gps um, all in all um, the THL W5, a very um, worthwhile uh, addition to the smartphone market.